do here is go back, 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 back. Hey Art fans, this is Art Daily, Feb 20th edition. Since it's Saturday, we are not going to be talking about five minutes or less daily trades. We'll be talking about Spotlight. It's time for Spotlight. And the topic today is Big Tech. Now, whenever we talk about Big Tech, by default, we just talk about Apple, Google, Facebook, Amazon, the big tech companies of California, of US, of Silicon Valley. But we never talk about China's Big Tech. So let's take a look at China's Big Tech. That's what we'll exactly be doing today and we'll see what are the investments, ARK's investment in those big companies. So uh, the companies that we'll be discussing today are Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, BYD. So stay tuned, we'll be going deeper into these. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, the topic today, as we discussed, is going to be China's big tech. We'll take a look at all of these four companies quickly. Um, and uh, the easiest way, like I said, would be to just map them to one of the companies on the Silicon Valley side, just to um, just to have that rough mapping in our mind that whenever we talk about it, we know what company this is. So Baidu is mainly known for uh, search engine and maps app, and uh, they are into AI as well for autonomous cars is what I hear and hence I'm mapping it to Google in my mind please feel free to let me know in the comments whether this is right mapping or not or you think there is a better mapping available but uh, in my mind I map it to Google Tencent which has uh, which is known for social networking it has various messenger chat messengers like WeChat um, and on our side it's Facebook which is WhatsApp and uh, Facebook is a social networking they are into gaming they are into AI so in my mind Facebook is the one that maps to Tencent Tencent on the uh, uh, Tencent has several other businesses as well but this is just rough mapping in my mind uh, it's purely my opinion um, and uh, feel free to um, challenge it in the <laughs> not challenge is probably not a good word in this case but feel free to uh, show me the right mapping uh, if you feel there is something else that should be the right one Alibaba group um, is the biggest e-commerce platform on China side on our side on the US side and California side it's Amazon they both are into cloud they both are into retail they both are into media uh, so that's the mapping on my in my mind and the last one would be probably the most controversial one BYD mapping to Tesla because many people feel many people would say no Neo is the one on China side that would map to Tesla no Xpeng is the one um, in my mind I'm just mapping it to Tesla there are several reasons for that because uh, one thing is that Arc is heavily invested in BYD and Tesla both um, and um, Warren Buffet is heavily invested in BYD too both have uh, uh, same both both are into electric cars electric um, trucks, semis, and all those things. Uh, that is electric mobility, and both are into solar as well. So just the for the purpose of this video, uh, let's have that mapping, and let's go into ARK's investments in these companies. So a quick look into the ARK investments into these four companies uh, that we are calling Chinese Big Tech. Starting with Baidu is the biggest one, uh, almost $1.5 billion in that. Second is Tencent, which, is, uh, which we map to Facebook on our side. Baidu on our side was Google, let's say. Tencent on our side is Facebook, 1.1 uh, billion almost there. Alibaba, which is uh, which corresponds to Amazon on our side, is 282 million. BYD, which we are saying corresponds to Tesla for now, is 93 million uh, investment there. Baidu leading the chart there, and in total, it's about 3 billion investment in these Chinese uh, big tech. So that's that's what we see here. Um, now let's take a look at the trends and see which one of these have uh, are been most bullish on and uh, maybe one of those are the ones that we're, they are not so bullish on but let's take a look quickly. Going over to the trends, so first uh, uh, on the list is Baidu, so let's take a look at total trends which is they have they have been adding aggressively to their, uh, not so aggressively but they have been increasing their position um, consistently um, in past one month or so uh, well i've been recording since january 26th so they have been adding positions to that um one percent one percent two percent one point five percent so constantly increasing it they're bullish on it um and then stock price trend also has been going up so um that's what we see here uh, it it went down for a day but on that day pretty much all the companies were down due to bad report on uh, jobless claims went up and hence um Pretty much every every company went down on that day, and picking back up on Friday, uh, 
and going even higher. So that's the trend on stock price and hence market value, which is a function of these two combined, um, for, follows a similar bullish trend uh, going aggressively higher, going down on this particular day um, and then uh, going back up. This particular day, as we said, was the day on which uh, jobless claim um, report came out. Now, let's take a look at it by ETF as well. Let's see how many ETFs it's present in. Oh, it's present in three ETFs, um, Innovation, um, Robotics, and Next Generation Web. Innovation being the biggest one. And um, yeah, similar trend that we discussed in totals exist when we break it by ETF also. So now let's, let's go and check Tencent, which is the second highest investment that they have. Tencent, Tencent Holdings. So in this case also, um, looks like they have been, in general, it's been an upward trend. Same kind of like 1%, 2% increase in shares, except this um, uh, this particular day when they reduced, these two days when they reduced a little bit, 0.6% here, 0.4% here. So not so much, but uh, in general, if you see, it's been upward trend. Um, in this case, they reduced 2.3%, uh, but then they bought some more again. So generally upward trend, stock price also upward trend, except last few days has been uh, down. Um, market value trend follows whatever these two dictate. Um, and that's that's how it is. Let's see how many ETFs it's present in. It's present in all four. Oh my goodness, okay. So yeah, now it explains why um, the share count went down in some. And um, so if you check this in ARK Innovation Fund, they reduced the position on one of the days, but they added to ARK Fintech and um, ARK Robotics also is going up. They also reduced it a little bit in Next Generation Web too. So yeah, stock price we saw already and market value trend. It's a similar trend there. So in Tencent and among Tencent and Baidu, uh, between these two, I think Baidu is the one that they're more, more bullish on looks like. Now let's go to the third one, which is, which one was the third one? Alibaba. So let's take a look at Alibaba. Let's take a look at totals first. Oh, extremely bullish on this too, even though it's a smaller position compared to other two, but looks like they've been aggressively buying 5%, almost 3%, 3.67%. Uh, so they have been buying a lot more shares. Um, stock price has been like a little bit of a roller coaster, but in general upward, um, it's a very slight upward trend in past two days it has been down. So they probably have been buying the dip also looks like. So that's uh, Alibaba, let's see if it's present in multiple ETFs. Yeah, it's present in three ETFs. Looks like they're increasing it in FinTech uh, because of Alipay. Um, they're increasing in that and they started a position in robotics and autonomous here, um, autonomous systems here as well. It was not present in this ETF before. So that's uh, Alibaba. Then let's go to the last one, which is uh, by, uh, BYD. Let's see how that's doing. So yeah, looks like uh, there was time. So it's present only in RQ, which is autonomous and robotics. Um, looks like it went down, the sh their position went down. And then since then they have been quite bullish on it in terms of buying number of more shares, 3.4% almost 4%, um, sold some more here. On February 18th, 19th, they bought some more. Stock price has been a pretty much a roller coaster there too, looks like. Um, then you have market value turn, which is function of these two combined, and hence you have this. So that is BYDD, BYDDY, hmm, BYD, its uh, full name is Build Your Dreams. Um, so that's BYD. Then you have, uh, actually it, it's also, there's also BYDF I think, but, I'll, but you guys can take a look at it on, the, on whatever is your favorite app, Seeking Alpha, Market Beat or Yahoo Finance. I think there is BYDDF also, and probably there is some small difference between these two uh, types of shares. Um, that's all for today's spotlight edition guys uh, shout out to my favorite youtubers who have inspired me to do this channel and Kathy Wood obviously um, for inspiring all of us and uh, this is a very new channel so a like and subscribe would be great thank you so much